For these kids, the first week of August means the first day of school. Some schools in the Peel District School Board just outside Toronto follow an alternative school year calendar, a summer break lasting just a month, but longer winter and spring breaks. I don't see any downsides to it. I personally love it. I love the fact that they get the breaks in between. It forces us as a family to take vacations. Proponents say it reduces the summer slide. That's a loss of learning that can happen over the long summer break. This administrator sees another benefit too. Teachers uh, in a regular calendar will spend, I'm going to say, the first two or three months just going over routines, review, expectation. The most time that students are ever away uh, is four weeks at a time. But there are drawbacks. For starters, keeping kids in class during those scorching August days only works for schools with air conditioning, something many schools in Canada don't have. This expert says there also needs to be a buy-in from teachers. Teachers are also parents and they are not available. Um, if they're teaching year-round, then they're not available in the summer to look after their kids who may not be attending a, a year-round school. But one thing experts agree on is this more balanced school year can work for specific communities. And families at this elementary school say they wouldn't have it any other way. It's really impacted the learning in a positive way rather than being stretched in the remaining months. The breaks really help them uh, recoup and they, I, I feel that the learning's a lot better. As these kids trade in summer camps for classrooms. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Caledon, Ontario.